this is Trucker. I'm here today to tell you about some of the updates to Clipboard, my Fallout 4 Cinema Build Mod. If you haven't seen the first video, it's up on the channel. I'll link to it in the description below. It'll give you an idea how to do a basic copy and pasting. Save you a lot of time rebuilding the same stuff over and over in your settlements. Anyway, in this video, I want to tell you about a couple of the new features. The first new feature is a big one, and I can't really show it to you in game, but I can tell you about it. You can import and export items in your clipboard between characters and between players. So everything you copy into your clipboard now is actually saved into a standalone file. Something you can find in your file system, something you can upload to your server, email to your friends, whatever you want to do with it. I'll put the folder path to the file in the description of the video. I'll probably put it on screen as well when I edit the video. But basically it's in your data file, your Fallout 4 description. You go into plugins, Fallout 4 script extender, plugins, then clipboard. Something like that. I'll put the file path in the description. Anyway, now for something I can show you. There's a new selection method. This one, rather than doing an area, it actually lets you pick the exact items you want to copy and paste by pointing and shoot, putting a gun at them and shooting them. It'll give you a special gun when you select that method. I'll go into workshop mode to show it to you. There we go. I'm just going to move this floor out of the way so I have something to snap to. Being able to snap to a surface gives you a little more precision when you're copying and pasting. Make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. Exit mode. Go to first person. Hit change selection method. Now if you've used the mod before, you'll recognize three of these. Sphere, cylinder, and box. Those are all exactly the same as they were before. So if you liked them, they keep working. There's two new ones. The gun one that I'm going to show you, and a select all. All the select all does is everything in the settlement gets selected. Imagine that. It lets you copy and paste entire settlements at once. I'd recommend using transfer settlements in general, but if you're doing a couple buildings in your settlement, that's all you got. This can be very useful. There's also more I plan on doing with it in the future, but I'm not going to get into that right now. So for now, let's go to Gun Manual. Now pull my weapon. You see I'm holding a whole new weapon. I didn't have this before. This is your selection gun. So now to select something, just point the gun at it, and fire. So I got the bench, I'll grab the table, that new coal crate, the bell, this scaled down bucket, let's grab the coffee, yeah, a bunch of stuff. So this whole dining area I'm going to copy. Now if I accidentally copied something I didn't want, say the wall behind it, you can go back over to the platform, click toggle select, deselect. Now anything I hit will become deselected. So I hit that, and it fades back to normal. Perfect. Alright, so now go over and hit copy to clipboard. I'm going to pick the saw I want to copy it to. I've done a lot of copy and pasting, so there's not very many empty slots. But there should be one on the next page. There we go. So slot 23 is empty. Let's hit that one. And now those nine objects are copied to the clipboard. I got the stitch. There we go. Alright, so now if I want to copy it in, I go into workshop mode. Alright, now this is where the snapping that I did earlier becomes important. So I want to line the new table I'm going to paste in up with that window. The same way this table is lined up with this window. As perfectly as possible. Since the previous platform position right here snapped in place. If I do it right here, it'll be the same thing for this window. Oops, don't want it to do too. Rotate that so it's facing the right way. So now it's relative to that window, the same way this one is relative to that window. So let's exit workshop mode. Hit paste from clipboard. And it was 23 I saved it into before. So let's go up to page 5. There we go. Hit 23, and very quickly those objects will get pasted in. Perfect. Yep, you can see it lines up perfectly with the window. At least as perfectly as that one was. 
All the stuff is there. The bell is still activatable. All the objects are exactly the same. Now the reason this is such a useful tool is if you have a ton of residential houses. For instance, my settlement, my sanctuary settlement, has 36 different residents. Well, a lot of other buildings, but 36 buildings that people actually live in with beds and stuff. Now they're the same basic layout. So what I did is I decorated one of them as thoroughly as I liked. I had paintings, beds, tables, chairs, clutter. Copied all of the stuff inside the build building using the selection gun. And then I went to each other building and just pasted it in. So rather than having to replace everything myself or do new decorations for every single building, I was able to do it once and just paste it 35 times and still have a fully decorated settlement. I do recommend going back and moving things around a little bit afterwards, just so they probably don't look identical. But it's actually make, pretty easy to make them feel different with the same objects already in them. Alright, so I'm just going to fix the floor real quick. Just put that back in place. Alright. So those are the major new features. I do want to discuss a couple of the other things I'm planning for the mod. If you only care about the stuff that's already in place, feel free to end the video now. Alright, so one of the problem points currently with using clipboard is when you're putting down the tools, you don't know which way it's going to face until you actually put it down. So what I want to do is add an arrow to the floor tile, so it's pointing up to the direction it's facing. And I also want to add the word to the bottom. So if you come back to a tool that's already up, and you're not in workshop mode, it's very easy to see what kind of tool it is. Those are like would be the next build. The other thing I'm working on is a cost system. Because right now you get everything for free when you build, when you copy and paste it. I want to, ch ideally I want to charge the resources the objects cost originally. So if I copied those stairs, I'd get, I'd have to pay the wood that it cost to build them in the first place. That would be the most realistic method. I haven't found a way to do that yet, though. And if I can't, what I'm going to do is charge caps for it. it that's probably the method I'm going to have to do, at least for a start. So everything you paste in will cost a certain number of caps based on how useful it is. So static option objects like stairs and walls and floors will cost a fixed amount of caps. And things you can use like stores, workshops, will cost more. This will all be configurable. You can turn it off or change the values in the settings. For anybody who just wants to build their ideal settlement and not have to worry about it, that 100% will still be supported. You can turn it off anytime. Alright, the other thing I want to do is these paste tools. I want a way of moving them to the exact place that a pattern was originally copied from. The reason for this is if you're copying a bridge, like I destroyed the bridge across from Sanctuary to Red Rocket and rebuilt my own. If I wanted to copy and paste that to another character, I'd have to be very, very precise about how I position it. But there's not going to be anything good to snap to. If I can move it to the original copy position and paste it in, then that would be perfect. It'd be exactly where it's supposed to be. In theory, it could also be used for copying and pasting full settlements exactly where they were originally. But I'd recommend using transfer settlements for that still, even if it does work in this. Transfer settlements is just, it's optimized for that kind of copy and pasting. Alright, I believe that's all the major plans. There are a lot of bug fixes. Well, not really bug fixes, not too many bugs left. But there's a lot of optimizations and cleanup I can do that I'm planning on doing. I won't go into the details there because I doubt anybody really wants to listen to it. If there are any programmers out there who want to see the source code, it's available on every download. So if you just download the latest version of the mod, you'll find the source code in the scripts folder. Feel free to incorporate parts of it into your own mods. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'm supposed to say like, like and comment, I think. Whatever. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.